another episode of Ask Aaron Anything. So, affordable off-grid energy asked uh, how many amps are used on the high voltage testing? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. So, to explain that better, I think we go to the high voltage test rig and then we can explain it a bit better and maybe show some examples. So, if we go over there first. Yeah. So, we're not actually putting a high amperage through the cable, we're putting a high voltage through the cable and then we measure the amperage, we're measuring how much leakage passes through the insulation. So if we get a high amp reading, that's actually a sign that there's a lot of leakage and the cable's not electrically sound. So if we put one of these on test, we'd be expecting this amperage to be quite low. It can change in the number because if the cable is longer, there'll be more leakage if it's a 10,000 meter length compared to a 5,000 meter length. But if we go above the six amps, it'll then signify a failure. So we've actually got a lot of leakage higher than six amps and the rig will cut out and tell us that the cable is not electrically sound. So we'll try and simulate that and show that with some images. So we've just set this cable running. We can see how it's running at 2000 volts, but the actual amperage that we're putting through there is only 0.21 amps. So this is a sign that the cable is electrically sound and we're not getting a lot of leakage through the insulation. We're going to go and damage one of the cores and then retest this to show you what happens when something actually fails and the leakage is a lot higher. So we've simulated that failure, we've damaged the insulation and when we press test now we can see how the amperage goes up. So it's gone past above the current limit, it's signifying that there's a lot of leakage and the cable's not electrically sound. So this cable will be recorded as a failure. So hopefully that gives a better explanation of what we're doing. We're actually stressing the insulation by raising the voltage. The current's only taken as a measurement. If the current spikes and goes too high, it's a sign that there's something wrong with the cable and it won't leave the factory. 